Hello, hi, my name is Adam Cadell and welcome to this video tutorial. The purpose of which is to show you, if I scroll down here, how to um, remove the credit which appears at the bottom of all um, WordPress uh, sites which states proudly powered by WordPress. Now also another thing which um, I'm going to show you um, how to remove is um, if you hover over it um, at present um, it's uh, a hyperlink if you left click it with your mouse it will take you to uh, the wordpress.org site which um, I certainly wouldn't want people to uh, to go there and actually disappear off my website so I'll show you at the same time um, how to remove the uh, hyperlink plus um, a few other things too I'll discuss them um, as as I actually do them. So this uh, might be a slightly longer tutorial than um, I'd ideally like to do. Try and keep them under two or three minutes. Um, but I know that um, other people who show you how to remove this or amend it um, tend to show you a short video, just very brief and um, nothing else. Well, I'm going to show you a few other things. So bear with me and uh, hopefully I'll make it worth your while and you'll find how you can um, uh, do uh, a number of different things with the um, area down, uh, down here. So without further ado, click on dashboard. <coughs> Bear with me because I've got a touch of cold. Um, right, where are we? So we want appearance, um, editor. And on the right hand side in alphabetical order, go down to footer where it says footer.php. Single click on that with a left click with the mouse. That brings you to the uh, PHP file. The area that we're interested in is this particular area here, roughly just over halfway down. What we want to remove um, specifically is uh, this section here, which is proudly powered by, followed by a um, percentage sign and S. Left click so that the cursor, the flashing cursor, is just to the right of the letter S using the backspace, uh, one character at a time. Don't hold it down just in case you overshoot and delete something you shouldn't do. Just go back as far as that um, first apostrophe. So the flashing cursor is in effect in between the two apostrophes. Then uh, let's see. Uh, we'll type out something like um, website <coughs> designed by Adam Cadell. All right. Now that's fine as far as that's concerned. Um, that um, what I've typed there has replaced the um, proudly powered by WordPress. The only problem is it will be hyperlinked and if you click on it it will take you to the WordPress site. So I said at the outset of this uh, video I'm, I was going to show you how to remove the hyperlink. So you can um, stop and freeze this um, uh, picture or this video if you want to um, see exactly what I'm doing but uh, to be fair I, I've put a copy of this um, on the post um, so uh, you know you don't really need to, to to, to stop um, to stop this video what we need to get rid of let's have a quick look uh, we need to get rid of from uh, there um, to uh, where are we there so um, from that um, left hand angle bracket where it says um, a href to um, uh, the next um, angle bracket where there is uh, uh, a quotation mark just above it and that's what you actually get rid of so I've got it highlighted I'm going to hit backspace and that has now gone now that's removed the hyperlink and uh, also replaced the words proudly powered by um, WordPress with the words website designed by Adam Cadell now let's uh, supposing you wanted to make uh, I'd say or add Let's say a, a copyright, and uh, not just the word copyright. You wanted to place a copyright symbol. So how do you do that? Well, let's classify website design by Adam Cadell as one sentence. I'm going to put a full stop there. Now I'll um, hit the return just to make one space. Um, rather than uh, what I tend to do, I'm probably a little bit fussy, but what I tend to do is I like to tend to have a fairly big gap between one sentence and another when I'm doing something like this. So before inserting the copyright symbol uh, and other details, um, I 
want to have a slightly bigger gap. Now the problem is um, your browser um, cannot um, understand anything bigger than um, one gap um, with my, hitting the return key. So what I'm getting at is if I wanted a bigger gap um, before starting the next sentence, it's no good just going like that and thinking right I've created a bigger gap I'll start my new sentence from here the cursor the sorry the browser won't, won't recognize that it only recognizes no more than one space so um, what I need to do is tell the browser that I want use um, HTML hypertext markup language I need to insert a small piece of code a small piece of HTML code to tell the browser to actually give me a slightly larger gap than normal so how I do that is I'm back to the uh, full stop <clears throat> let's just hit return once the um, code I need to insert is um, n B S P and uh, a semicolon and that will create the actual break and I'll hit the cursor one more time to create uh, uh, a small gap that the browser will recognize without the aid of any code I now need to insert the copyright symbol now I could type copyright but I prefer to have the little circle with a C in it uh, you need to insert a piece of code in there to let the browser decipher it so what we need to do is um, uh, shift press the shift key down and and uh, the word copy in lowercase semicolon that is your uh, copyright symbol now I want to put copyright 2013 um, if I just type the uh, 20 or the 2013 here um, the number 2 will be crushed right up against the uh, little circle with the C in it and I don't want that I'm going to create one little gap now I'm going to place type in 2013 I'll place one more gap and type in the name of um, the website, which is We Clone Golf Clubs. Right, so how that will read when I've saved it uh, will be a website designed by Adam Cadell, full stop. Bit of a gap. The copyright symbol 2013 We Clone Golf Club. Uh, we Clone Golf Clubs. So that's what will uh, actually appear there. So if I take that down, update the file, then visit the site, <coughs> scroll down, and there we are. Website designed by Adam Cadell. Bit of a space there. Copyright symbol. The number two is not crushed up against the C because I left a gap. Uh, 2013 we clone golf clubs now what happens if you wanted to bold that to make it stand out from the rest or even change the color of it that's why I said I'd um, I'd uh, do that's why I said this um, video tutorial will be a little bit longer I'm going to quickly show you now the small pieces of HTML code which you can easily insert to bold this and change the color I'm going to bold this and change it to red so what I'm going to do go back to the dashboard and uh, where are we appearance uh, editor <coughs> and footer by the way the HTML I'm using is all described in the um, uh, uh, the actual text which accompanies this uh, particular uh, video right so there's the beginning and the uh, the end of what I've typed so what we need to do first of all I'm going to uh, change the color so we go for an angle bracket to begin what we call the tag type in font gap color color using the American expression then um, I should have been an equals uh, quotation mark then we'll put in the color you can use uh, HTML um, hashtags um, you know if you want a really specific shade I'm just going to put red um, that will still work uh, put the quotation mark uh, back in and get a uh, right pointing uh, angle bracket now I need to um, uh, have the browser know when I want to end the color on that so what I'm going to do um, I need to uh, just get click there just after the um, uh, letter S on the word clubs uh, put a left hand pointing angle bracket a forward slash 
and just the word font and then a right pointing angle bracket now that tells the browser that as far as the color is concerned the red i just want it starting from here and ending and ending here i don't want it to go any any further so that will change the color if i want to bold it all i need to do um always uh, just press shift a left pointing angle bracket a letter b a right hand pointing angle bracket now we need to tell the, we need to have the browser know when to stop the bolding um, of um, the uh, the words otherwise it could uh, literally bold everything else below this line so what we'll do we'll just um, put just before the uh, closing font tag I'll depress the shift left hand um, uh, pointing angle uh, forward slash letter b right hand pointing angle now that tells the browser to end the uh, bolding um, at that point so that's changed the color that's also bolded everything so if i update the file i'll edit it successfully visit the site scroll down there we are everything's bold in red website designed by adam goodell full stop Copyright 2013, we clone golf clubs. That's it, folks.